folks. How y'all doing? Welcome to Homegrown Country Home Place Blacksmith Shop. Y'all been busy this morning, been doing a little work on this blacksmith shop, trying to get it done here, enjoying this good cool weather in North Mississippi. And got this rake here. I guess y'all wonder why I'm doing this rake. I'm not sure, but I'll figure it out in a little while. But anyway, y'all, I'll tell you what, y'all. I've been enjoying this cool weather here and just got through putting some uh, boards on this uh, blacksmith shop here and uh, thought uh try to get some work done today been doing some work in the leather shop and been doing different things here so haven't had an opportunity to work on this in a while but i thought i'd get out here and get something done and uh, it's come along pretty good i gotta make me a uh some change my mind y'all on this right here i decided i'm going instead of putting windows in here because i started thinking you know i need uh air circulation i don't need all the smoke in there i'd be kind of calling fire department and passed out out here all this smoke or something the hot heat stuff so they need good air flow so what uh decided to do just put me some wooden shutters like deal doors that opens up right here and it's gonna let my light in and uh whenever i'm through working i'm gonna shut it and i figure windows get broken and probably get all kind of dust and coal all over and stuff and uh, can't see out of it too good and much light and probably wouldn't come through so I figure that'd be the best way to go just put me some wooden shutters on it and well, I don't know if it's called wooden shutters but anyway y'all it's like whatever they call them what do you think Kyle Tasha probably wooden wouldn't. Window, I'm gonna have me some wooden windows to open up <laughs> <laughs> but uh anyway y'all um that's what we're doing today just out here doing a little work on this and uh go and get started on them real quick and and i got my door walking around here to the side touch here's this door right here uh for my side door uh, i'm liking that already I, I use that a lot going back and forth in there and stuff and it just keeps me having to make a trip all the way around to the front. I can just make a shortcut right through there. And uh, so I gotta get that door made for this. And uh, and on the back back here, I'm not sure yet uh, how I'm gonna do that. Yes, y'all, this is just uh, I'm shooting from the hips, y'all, uh, on this. I'm not I'm not you know doing no blueprints anything like that. You know I told y'all about maybe I'll make a part of a leather shop over there. But y'all, I done changed my mind again. I, tell you, I can't make my mind up one thing or another. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to leave it open, completely open, because, you know, I started thinking, you know, I might need more of that space than what I think I might need in there. You know, it gets smoky all in there and there ain't enough room and stuff, you know. I might be like, man, it's getting too tight. So I'm going to leave this thing completely open and uh, just uh, just take it, you know, as I need it, you know. If I, if I think I need that extra room for something, I'll, I'll build, build, you know, box it in, whatever. But, uh right now i'm not going to mess putting a wooden floor in there or anything like that i'm going to wait till i get my uh forge built another thing y'all is uh I, I started thinking though now i hope that doing an inside forge i hope it ain't just i don't know how much smoke comes off of a coal forge i have no idea i've never done that stuff before so i hope i have enough ventilation when it's all said and done so it won't be too smoky i know just getting that coal started is probably going to be pretty smoky but uh but uh but, you know, y'all, I, I don't know how bad that cold is as far as, uh, you know, on your lungs and stuff like that. I, I don't know. Um, maybe somebody knows more about it than I do can tell me. But uh, if it's too bad, if I can't get the blacksmith and coal, I've got the anthracite coal. I think that's what they call it. But it's not as good as a coal as far as blacksmithing. But some people, do, you know, they use it. It's a lot cheaper. But we can get that locally at like a tractor supply company. Now, if, if I can get that to work for me, you know, it works all right. You know, it might, you know I'm, I'm, uh, I'm gonna try it anyway. I done bought 15, 20 bags, what, a year or two ago, Tasha? Yeah. So I've got to try it anyway. But uh, the other option, y'all, is using uh, wood charcoal. So uh, that, that's gonna throw a lot more ambers and all that kind of stuff off. So hopefully my uh, hood, I, I'm not really sure y'all how I'm gonna do my forge yet, but I've got to make me some kind of hood, y'all, to kind of collect that smoke and draw it up the chimney there and uh, any kind of ambers and stuff. But I got a wood shop here. I don't want. I don't want to get burnt down. <laughs> I'll be out here calling Tosh. Help me, Tosh. Help me. But uh, anyway, uh, depending on how that goes, I may even put line the inside of my 
blacksmith shop around my coal, my, my forge area, maybe some metal. You know, if it, you know, I, I don't know y'all. Uh, I, I just have to do this uh, as I go along. So I know I'm probably rambling a little bit right now. That's what I'm a rambling man. Have rambling thoughts, y'all. But uh, anyway, y'all, just thought I'd bring y'all along here and show you what we was doing today. You know, Tasha said I gotta get back to work, so I gotta get back to work, y'all. We'll see y'all in a little while. Hey, I want to show y'all this real quick. I was putting this hinge up right here, and uh, I'm gonna show you the kind of quality. This is a national hinge. I'm gonna show you the kind of quality this is. Y'all look at all this slack in here, and I looked at the other ones, and they, they're the same way. Y'all, I'm taking these off, and I think he's about four, almost five dollars a piece. If you put your whatever you're trying to hang. They're going to be, it's going to be out of square as soon as you put this up and the weight gets on, it's going, it's going to throw it out of square. I'm taking this off and I'm going to go get me some more hinges, y'all. Maybe I just put some door hinges up, but I'm not, I'm not going to put that garbage up right there. My little rant for today. Just walk around here to the side. Show you what it's looking like from the side here. Just got a uh, wood siding above the door and trim right there on the edge and get my door built. I'll just show y'all here the back side here. Got that all siding. Got this uh, window right here all boxed in. Now we're just going to have to uh, figure out exactly how I'm gonna do this back here. I'm not sure I may do just one uh, wooden window light uh, lifted up from the top here. Or I could do two singles right here open from side to side. I'm not really sure I'm gonna do that yet. 
but I'm thinking about maybe just taking it and pushing it open and like hooking it up here at the top with a chain or something and just open that whole thing up instead of doing two separate uh, doors on hinges. All right, y'all. Hey, we had a good day working on this blacksmith shop. I feel like we got no good bit done. Got the siding put on it for the most part. And got this window opening right here uh, all trimmed out. Y'all remember I said I wasn't going to put no glass windows right here. I'm going to have like two wooden doors opened up. So I figure that's going to give me a lot of uh, you know, good ventilation through here. And I ain't got to worry about that glass getting dirty and stuff like that. And on the back back here, I'm probably either do the two wooden doors or open up with just one big wooden door open up and swing up and you know hold it open on the back so I should have a lot of good cross ventilation getting the smoke and stuff out of here whenever that uh, cold forge gets uh, started but uh, anyway y'all uh, I'll be working on that for too long and um, well this is about the second day I've had a chance to work on this so it might be a little bit longer than what I'm thinking but we're going to get it done eventually, and I just got to get in here and level this ground up, get some of this wood moved around, and put this rock down, and it's going to slowly come together, y'all, and looking forward to it, and uh, I'm not going to put no oil on this right now, I'm going to let it kind of gray down just a little bit before I put me some oil on it, but I got to do that too, but uh, hope y'all enjoyed the video today, hope you uh, didn't mind the humor in some of the video clips there, I like joking and cutting up a little bit sometimes, and and don't 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 hold against me, y'all. I can't whistle too good, but y'all, I was giving I giving the best I could do there. But uh, anyway, y'all, appreciate y'all coming along. And as always, friends from my family years, y'all have a blessed day, and we'll see you later. Bye bye.